What is going on everybody? This is Mike from The Last Corvette. Today is Friday, so happy Friday. It's October 20th and it sure feels like October 20th here in Michigan, Metro Detroit area. The leaves are falling, it's raining, but you know, it's 61 outside, so hey, I'll take that. Anyway, just got off work, picked up my kid, and I received a question through uh, YouTube on one of my videos that I did about my Easy Go golf cart. And the question is very simple and very straightforward. If you do a three battery, three 12 volt battery conversion on your mm -hmm. golf cart, which is very common, uh, especially if you're trying to save money, can you utilize or use your stock charger? And the simple answer is yes, you can. If everything is wired properly, you can use your stock charger. You can even use your stock charging port, plug it in, set your uh, timer, and your battery charger will run and it will shut off. Trust me, it will shut off once the amps drop to, I don't know, two or close to two, three, three to two amps or something like that. It'll shut off. I'm still using my stock charger. Now, a couple of things to note, and I've made videos about wiring, I've made videos about mileage, I've made videos how to install a battery or a capacity uh, meter uh, that's, uh, for me anyway, it's uh, 36 volt specific. If you have a 48 volt golf cart, just order one that's 48. They also make uh, universal ones, which you can set whatever the voltage you have. But long story short, if you want to watch those videos, just go ahead and search through my channel and you will uh, basically learn everything you need to learn about doing this conversion. And the reason I made videos about this Easy Go golf cart is because there's plenty of videos out there about wiring and uh, doing this conversion. Basically going, let's say, on a 36 volt, going from six 6 volt batteries to three 12 volt batteries. Currently I have four batteries and I intend on installing one more just for capacity reasons to get a longer range. But anyway, like I said, though that's, that's already out there. So, when it comes to a stock charger, you have to understand that that charger is not a smart charger, especially on older golf carts. Uh, they will work, they will charge your three batteries, they will shut off, but they will slightly overcharge at least two of your batteries in the circuit. And when I say slightly overcharge, you know, your normal good charge on a battery when you're actually on charge is about 14.8 volts or something like that, and that's a good healthy battery. Now, on these chargers, they're obviously made and designed to charge six six volt batteries, okay? Um, that's just uh, how they were made. And they're not smart chargers. Like I said, they just basically look for amperage. Now, um, it's not a big deal. And the reason I say it's not a big deal because you need to take one key element of any battery and that is water levels unless it's a sealed battery or a gel battery something like that regardless if you have six six volt batteries or three 12 volt batteries you need to watch and maintain your battery water levels and there's a couple of different systems out there that do so like a watering system that not only shows you the water level in each cell but also makes adding distilled water a lot easier than let's say doing it with a funnel for me, I took a little different approach, an old school approach. So throughout the summer, we started using this golf cart basically early spring. We used it all summer. And about a month ago or so, so September, I actually added about a half a gallon of distilled water across all four of my batteries. Not a lot, but that's something you need to do because as you use your golf cart, as you use your batteries, uh, as you charge your batteries, you're actually using up or evaporating your water levels in each of your cells and each of your batteries. That's just, doesn't matter what charger you use, that just happens, okay? Especially on electric golf carts where they use all of the juice that they can possibly use out of your batteries. And that's another point where if you're going to use your golf cart, regardless if you go for a short little run or a full on, let's say 10 plus mile run, always charge your batteries or your golf cart after each use because that's how you maintain the health of your batteries you want to make sure you always top them off never run them low 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 or basically kill the battery and then recharge it that's how you diminish the life cycle of the batteries and also the capacity but with that comes looking at or maintaining your water levels for me every month i used to take off the caps and you got a couple of different caps either pop-off caps or screw-on caps or screw-off caps 
and take a flashlight just look down inside and make sure that your water is covering the cells of each battery bank okay and uh, normally you'll have a basically an area or a uh, void between the top of your battery cell and where the lid or the screw cap lives you always want to make sure that the water level is about halfway up or we'll say in between the top of the battery and the top of your uh, cap. You don't want to overfill it because if you do, then when you charge it or use your golf cart, you will get some bubbling and you don't want to have basically watery acid leaking all over your floor or all over your batteries or all over wires and cables inside your golf cart. So that's my approach. That's what I ended up doing is just basically every month I would take the caps off, take a flashlight, maintain them. Uh, and like I said, I went spring all the way through summer and then they weren't low, low, but I just said, you know what, I'm going to service them. And I added, like I said, half a gallon of distilled water across all batteries using a funnel. Now, the best approach to maintain your batteries is what I have in my garage, and I haven't installed it yet, is to install a three bank or they even sell four bank individual battery chargers. And what they do is instead of charging all of your batteries, however many batteries you have in circuit, they will actually have leads, so positive and negative leads. This battery charger came off one of my boats that I used to own, and boats do have, especially bigger ones, a lot of different batteries, a lot of different banks that you gotta charge. And um, that is the best approach because not only will each individual battery receive a proper charge, 14.8 or whatever with no overcharge, it will also being that it's a smart charger, maintain your batteries as the golf cart sits or especially if it sits over the winter. And that's what I intend on doing is basically wiring the smart charger and then uh, what I'll do is I'll just basically remove the OEM charge port and install a uh, probably like a flip plug or something like that. The way I can just run the extension cord right in, have the charger and the leads under my uh, front seat and you call it a day. And like I said, the best and the in 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 the the nicest part about having smart chargers is that not only will they charge the batteries when you're done using the golf cart, but they'll maintain them. So what they do is they'll sit there, they'll put a load on the battery. If the battery is within range, it won't do anything. If it's not, then it's going to output power to that battery, or let's say to all batteries, and then recharge them. And then it also goes through a cycle where it will basically draw power or draw amps and then recharge the batteries to maintain your batteries at their maximum proper level. That's it. In a nutshell, I know I kind of dragged it out now to almost eight minutes, but in a nutshell, I just wanted to give you guys as much information as possible. Um, stock charger will work just fine. Just maintain your batteries. Um, switching to a smart charger is the best thing you can do. It's a little bit more money if you don't have one, but regardless, you still have to keep an eye on those water levels inside your batteries. Otherwise, uh, well, you know what? You're going to be buying batteries and that really goes for any um, golf cart, any electrical uh, powered vehicle. Talk to you guys later.